Creating clothes with Marvelous Designer has been one of those cool things that has actually made working with clothes or working with simulations a bit more easier for artists. But then it does come with it perks, especially when you're planning on getting that nice simulation out of Marvelous Designer into a third party application without having all of those crooked topologies. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're looking at a very, very simple question that was asked. Actually, this question has been asked a couple of times in the comment section and I just felt that it's, you know, like it's the right time to actually do justice to this. And the question has to do with how do you get a properly remeshed Alembic file from Marvelous Designer over to 3D Studio Max, Maya or Blender or even Cinema 4D without losing the animation that you've created. So I guess a lot of people might have fallen into these problems and we're going to do justice to that. So with Marvelous Designer open here, I would really suggest that you get the Marvelous Designer 9. And we did cover a couple of videos about this. So link is also going to be in the description where you can check that out. And we also had a couple of questions which we've also answered that has to do with you creating Marvelous Designer objects and also working with them in substance and also working with them in key shots so link to all of those is also going to be in the description just in case you want to check those videos out all right so with that said we're going to go over to the avatar and i'm just going to go through and select the female avatar which we have directly in here so with the female avatar loaded next thing which you want to do is go over to the garment so this is more like a demo for what we are going to look at today so probably you might have created an amazing you know clothes which you would like to work with of course that will make a lot of sense so you can go ahead you know apply the same techniques that we're going to look at right now to the cloth object that you have all right so with this cloth directly here next thing which i want to do is just simply align this properly okay and there's a cool feature with marvelous design 9 which is making a lot of sense the fact that you can switch this from the normal simulation to gpu which would definitely get your simulation running way way fast makes a lot of sense all right so we're going to just simply use this as our demo mesh to actually see what the simulation looks like all right so because we have the gpu and with the power of nvidia rtx you can see we're leveraging off that very fast you know gpu feature that exists right now okay so down to the question you know once you create something like this it's really really clean when it comes to the simulation side of it but the mesh itself looks like this which I think a lot of people would have issues with in terms of animation. You just want to get like a very clean mesh. You don't want so many topologies that doesn't look like right for you. But then, you know, you still want to maintain the animation. All right. So what we can do right now is just simply leave this thing as it is. Stop this as it is right now. And make sure you have everything that you want selected. Right click here and go over to this section called remeshing so once you click on the remeshing allow marvelous designer to go through it's going to interpret the entire object that you have the entire cloth mesh that you've created and interpret it in a very interesting way it's definitely going to go ahead and create quad meshes for you which would in turn reduce the amount of polygon counts that you're going to have and it's going to give you a very clean retoppled object now this retoppled object that it's definitely creating for you you can now take this and you know send it to wherever you want and do your simulations so one of the best practice which i would suggest is try and do your remeshing before you actually hit the animation to run because in most cases you may have unpredicted results so with this ready to go what we want to do now is do a couple of simulations now it depends on what you're working on so in case you already have a motion attached to your object let's say you dragged in an fbx file and you're working with that great so you can do with that whatever you choose but this time we just want to switch over to the animation section and the reason why we're switching over to the animation section is just because we want to simply add a couple of animation to this object so the way this object is we love it but we just want to add a couple of you know animations to it so i'm switching over to the gpu and I'm just going to press the record button so that it can record whatever action we take on the clothes at this point. So while this is going, I'm just going to go ahead and just move some parts just for the sake that I want to add some motions to it so that we can, you know, see something that we can look at when we're working in Blender. And yeah, I think this is good enough. Now, if I have the animations that I want, what I want to do now is just stop this. Then I'll be able to come over here 
and switch to export and export this as the alembic ogawa you can choose to play with the dimensions but then of course if you have scale issues we're definitely going to talk about those scale issues when we get over to blender so with this done next thing which i want to do is just leave everything as it is i don't want to export the avatar so i'm not going to include the avatar shape i'm going to leave everything as they are and just hit ok button so once i hit the ok button you know uh, marvelous designer is going to export this and we're going to jump directly into blender and take a look at what the animation shape looks like all right so we're inside blender right now and with uh, a brand new blender open what we want to do is just delete susan the monkey and next thing which we want to do is come over here where we have the file import and import the alembic file that we exported earlier so with the alembic file imported you may have the same exact issues that we're having right now and the issue we're having right now is we know for sure we've imported this file but then we cannot see it in the viewport we already know that within the outliner we have something like this but of course we can't see where or what this cloth looks like or where it is in space so what you can do is press the period key on your keyboard and you know blender would go through and find a way to locate this thing for you if you're unable to see that probably for some reason what you can do is press n on your keyboard and switch over to the view and change your clipping point so the clip start and the clip end determines how far your camera can see and how close your camera can be to an object so for this i'm just going to put 0.01 .01 and i'm going to attach an extra number to this which is going to make this visible all right so previously it was about a thousand but i went ahead to increase it by an extra zero which made it ten thousand and of course you have this directly here so what you want to do now is just simply you know grab onto this object as it is and scale it very very well so i'm just going to go through and simply scale this properly so i'm just going to scale this up until this point now if i press the period i'm definitely going to get that and i'm also going to scale this again and get something like this all right so with this here what we can do now is press the playback button and you see all of the simulations that we created in marvelous designer directly in here so in case you're thinking about how you can bring in a very nicely you know done mesh from marvelous designer over to blender or maya or you know any other 3d app this is actually the best way to go for me i think this makes a lot of sense especially knowing the fact that if you choose to take this from here over to apps like zbrush you might end up getting you know something pretty neat like this in terms of remeshing but you might also in turn lose the entire simulation that you've made and at the same time if you choose to bring it into other 3d apps where you you know you have a decently cleaned mesh you may also have issues trying to get these things to fit into the pipeline depending on the kind of mesh that you work with all right so this is definitely going to be about it so the next thing which you want to do is probably you know just style this thing the best way you can and you know make the animations work for you the best way you think they should and that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you want to check out other videos that has to do with marvelous designer link to those is going to be in the description so you can go through and check them out and if you like this video you learned something from it don't forget to hit the like button and also share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks Things like this. Peace.